Jerry Polo, 2nd Congressional District of Colorado, hashtag Hack for Congress. A lot of great teams working on projects that were submitted by members of Congress and their staff so it would actually improve transparency, accountability in government, and people really spending their time working on, on creating some great open, open source products. Well, there's like, a, you know, institutionally it just sort of drags behind the times and it really takes these kind of outside efforts to uh, force Congress to catch up with the times and have the openness and transparency that the American people deserve. I, we just took out the papers and I'm proud to say we started a open source caucus with Blake Farenthold just the other day. We're recruiting members to uh, help educate and provide a forum uh, in an official context uh, around open source uh, issues. That, you know, the SOPA and PIPA debate was really one of the first times we saw the political strength of the uh, tech community writ large. We're not just talking tech companies, we're talking users of technology, consumers that really care about uh, access to a free and open internet. And I think we'll see that more and more as issues come up that affect a free and open internet, affect consumers. You're going to see people uh, uh, not afraid to use cutting edge technology, including some of the technology developed here at Hack for Congress to uh, let their members of Congress know where they stand. The, uh, I'm, I've been a big supporter of net neutrality. I think the magic of the internet is really around content and, and products and services and of course bandwidth providers need to be able to be profitable and continue to expand bandwidth but all of the innovation side is on what flows through the tubes. Uh, I would say we should really bring ourselves close to the hashtag hack for Congress folks and really uh, give an official imprint to a lot of the unofficial efforts that are going on here today and I think that's what is being conveyed by a number of members in their individual capacity who are coming through and encouraging your work. They need to get with it, get with the times, get their members and staff here, understand what's going on, take the time. It's affecting our democracy, it's affecting uh, the way the world works and uh, you need to understand it and embrace it.